South Africa has one of the widest wage gaps in the world. And the debates around fair remuneration of bosses and their workers has been raging for years. CEOs of the JC's top listed companies earn as much as 725 times their workers' average salary. A study by Emergence Investment Managers shows that since 2009, the average annual inflation rate of CEO base salary packages was above 10% per annum, while average salaries across all employees increased by under 8% a year. The PwC Executive Director's report says on the JSE, 140 executive directors are paid in foreign currency, and depending on currency fluctuations, this could balloon or drop every year. <laughs> Research shows that seven of the top earning CEOs of JSE listed companies received more than 60 million rand in total compensation in the past financial year. Heads of BHP Billiton, Anglo American, Cecil, ShopRite, and MTN made up the top 20 in terms of the highest paid CEOs. Mining companies dominate the list with Lonmen and Ashanti featuring. Mining unions have used CEO pay as a measure of what underground workers should be paid. According to Mergen's research, South Africa sits with the fifth biggest average pay gap in the world after the USA, Hong Kong, Germany and the UK. In his defense, ShopRite states that Whitey Basson's salary is only 1.52% of total salaries paid and 0.13% of the group's total operating expenses. Composite uh, application. But the question remains, are CEOs being overpaid or considering the work done, is it unfair to compare wages of average workers with those of a CEO?